Um, hi guys, my name is Abigail Hernandez. I am from Early Childhood and Education Professions Level 2. And I'm doing an editorizing project. And my editorizing project is to be doing a to be um, teaching a lesson. And I'm gonna be teaching you guys about reading out loud, so guided storytelling experiences. All right, so you guys' objectives are gonna be you will be able to create a unique and interactive storytelling experience for young children. Also be able to outline the steps to follow when reading out loud to children. So you guys are going to be filling in the blanks for your guys' term. Okay, so books tell a story with beginning, middle, and ending. Stereotype is a widely held but fixed and particular, uh, what, uh, oversimplified image or idea of a particular type of person or thing. Because what skills do children learn through storytelling? So, okay, you guys put problem solving. Um, they learn how to act as, how to act as different roles, yes. And your next question is, what might be some steps to follow when reading a book to children? Show the pictures, engage with them by asking questions related to the book. Yes, those are really good steps to follow. Yes, we want to make sure like they're having fun while we're reading the book. Now I want you guys to circle three important things that are on the list right here. Revaling clearly, ask questions, show pictures. I see you guys are doing the same as last period, picking the same ones. Be enthusiastic, discuss illustrations, read slowly enough for students to take in each page. Yes, we don't want to read too fast either. You guys are going to listen to a video about how to read loudly to children. Have you made a snowman this winter yet? So what were some things that um, the lady did that we talked about her so far? She held up the pictures to the screen so the kids could see them. Yeah, so she was asking a lot of questions. But did she ask a question each time she was reading a page, or did she do it every so often? Every so often, yes. She did it every so often. Because we don't want to take too much time on asking too much questions. We don't want them to get bored of like all the questions. And now circle what you feel of when it comes to how comfortable you are reading out loud to children. Nah. Okay, you guys are still a little unsure. Okay, I got this uh, question. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right, good. Okay, before reading the book, um, we like to discuss the cover to like look through it, talk about the author and illustrator, talk about the front, the back, the spine of the book, and a picture walk. The only one picture walk is just like skimming through some of the pictures. And you're also going to be introducing new concepts of vocabulary. During reading the book, you're going to be asking some questions. You're going to pause and explain some new vocabulary and use visuals. So some questions that you may um, discuss during the reading can be, how do you think the character feels? What will happen next? Why did that character act that way? And what is happening in this specific pic picture? And after reading the book, uh, you're going to um, ask some questions for discussion. And some questions could be like, what was your favorite part of the book and why? Did you like how the book ended? Yes, no, why or why not? What do you think would happen after the story ended? And if you could write a new ending, what would happen? So it's also good to create um, more activities that continue reinforcing the concepts, vocabulary that they learned. And then a quote that we have is, children fall in love with books because of the memories created when they snuggle up and read with someone they love by raising readers. That's and you'll be surprised. All right, when it comes to choosing books, we like to have a rich vocabulary, so some interesting language, um, like I said, introduce new vocabulary, and that children, um, some vocabulary that children can learn quickly and that will remember. So nothing too also hard, but something that could be simple. Um, when it comes to illustrations, we like to have engaging and interesting that are specifically designed for children. Um, find a perfect match for text, so we'll use like bright or soft, could be also realistic or cartoons. Remember, we want to keep it fun but not to like woe well to them. And so it's also gonna have different artistic styles like watercolor, oil paint, collage, cartoon, photography, and many more. And also diversity, there should be, there, it'd be nice to have some free form gender, um, ethnic and 
racial and religious stereotypes dated authentic to um, reflect their own lives and experiences and diversity of the larger society. So it's also good to get some books that some children can relate to, not just like have some that are like, oh, maybe I don't relate to it. Because kids actually like reading books that they could relate to. There's like an airplane flying up. That's okay. Bye, girl. All right. Bye, guys.